beautiful Diamonds of Light. It's your girl, Diamond of Light. And I'm on here to give you an intuitive energy reading for the mind, body, soul, and spirit. I speak all as well with each and every one of you all. Today is October the 2nd, okay? 2022. What it do? What's new? All right. Oh, let's see. My day been pretty good. I got up kind of late. I'm going to late, which I always do. And um, I ain't going to say I got up too late, but I got up. I drugged myself up. Like, I, I drugged myself to get up. Like, it was a dragon, drag, drag. But I got up. Um, yeah, the day been a pretty good day. Um, it's just a day, you know. You know, I always say, girl, I was in the house and content. <laughs> But I'm here. I'm here. I'm live. I'm here to live to see another day, and that in itself is something to be grateful for because it's a lot of people that's not with us anymore. You know what I'm saying? Rest in power, mom. Um, yeah. So we just gotta be in gratitude of being able to, you know, have another day to expand and grow, and you know, make divine changes within ourselves. Of course, y'all, I have another one of my latest paintings in the background. I'm just, you know, trying to put a little of my art. Y'all yeah, just seen a, a red butterfly. Just put a, a little bit of my art, you know what I'm saying? And behind me, you know what I'm saying? Maybe, you know, the energy off of it that triggered some people. And this is the manifestation of higher self, like the slot machine, you know, hitting the jackpot. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people that's actually been... And that high heart, high mind is actually manifesting things. Things are starting to manifest for you all, us all. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's beautiful. Some people are actually going to hit the lottery. Some people actually might go play, you know what I'm saying, slots for the first time and, and hit it. Some people actually might hit the lottery. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can, um, but this is, these manifestations of higher self, the manifestations that, are in the play is through doing the higher self, higher mind, higher heart work. Those those are the divine manifestations that's going to come in play. And it's not always monetary, okay? It's not. That's why I say this is manifest, manifest higher self. So these are you manifesting, you know what I'm saying, good health, you know what I'm saying, so vitality, you know what I'm saying, you, you, you're manifesting, you know, longevity, right? You're manifesting, you know, your abilities. You're manifesting, you know what I'm saying, just peace and happiness and divine balance within. You're manifesting more love and soul guidance, you know what I'm saying? You're manifesting that your soul tribe, your family, who are all divinely meant to be in your life, will be in your life. You're manifesting divine love, your your divine counterpart, your divine masculine, your divine uh, uh, feminine. You're manifesting those type of things. It's not always uh, monetarily, but of course, that's going to be part of it because we're not meant to suffer and struggle, okay? But um, yeah, it's like those things is what we have to just, you know, look at you have to look at those aspects of manifestation you know what i'm saying when i'm you know just because it's a jackpot you know it's the jackpot you're gonna hit the jackpot to life you understand me <laughs> to to manifesting your higher self there's nothing greater than that your universal guidance okay your your connection with divine source creator all right <laughs> but in order to do that purification is definitely having to take place you know yeah, so I don't know detox is coming up. So maybe some of you will need to detox. You know what I'm saying? I know I can use a good detox. Um, and you know, you know what I'm saying, doing some energy work, you know what I'm saying? I, I really can use some going out in nature, y'all. I really I really I think I might go today. I think I might get out in a minute and just go to a park or something nearby and ground because I hadn't did it in a while. It's like where I'm at now. It's like, it's not a, even though it's a lot around, it's not a lot of places that, you know, I was so used to being able to go to the mountains and hike and these trails and stuff. And I'm not near that anymore. I'm actually closer to the beach, but you know, with our vehicle not being as reliable, great for still running, but it's just not as reliable enough to trust it to make it to the beach. So I'll be glad. I'll be so grateful when I do manifest a new car. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 
Oh, uh, it just manifested the one we have um get fixed. But I want a new car. I want a new car. So I want to manifest a new car for myself. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a big body Benz is what's coming through. But I don't even want I don't even want a Benz. I don't know why a Benz came through. I don't even know that big body Benz just came in my consciousness. You know what I'm saying? But no, I mean, I just want a nice, reliable car. You know what I'm saying? I just want a nice, reliable car car you know what i'm saying i'm not picky i'm grateful for whatever i got i just wanted to be able to get me everywhere that i need to go you know what i'm saying don't get me wrong because the car we got we traveled across country in that car you know four times we're literally from the east coast to the west coast to the east coast to the west coast back to the west coast okay literally and that's why i was having the <laughs> and then drove it around there then driving around since we got back here so it's like that's why we've having we're having the tro car troubles, the problems that we had, because we put a lot of wear and tear. We went, we rode that car, and it's still, you know, it's still going. You know, seeing she coughing and farting and smoking and you know all that stuff, but she's still running. You know, I'm grateful that we're able to get in it to go take care of our personal needs and things that we need. So that's to me. That's more than enough. So you just have to be grateful for all the littlest things, the smallest things, even if it did. Because like I say, about a month ago, it gave out. But that was somebody trying to send dark energy towards us to cause us to have more car troubles. But when I came and did, when we came and did our energy work, it crunk up the next day and it's been running since. You know what I'm saying? I made sure I continue to put divine energy and protection into our vehicle. But yeah, so yeah, um... Even if it wasn't, though, it's like you just give gratitude that you're able to walk, that you're able to, you know, maybe get on the bus, that you're able to get the, you know, things that you need. You know what I'm saying? But I just give gratitude that it did start back cranking the next day because, you know, everything ain't always in arm reach. You know what I'm saying? I like to shop and go to certain places to get what I need. <laughs> so I'm grateful that I'm still able to go in those certain areas and those certain places. But if I had to adapt to my circumstances, situations around me, I'll be more than grateful to be able to have to do that. Living in gratitude, you know what I'm saying? For even the smallest things, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, but I know my time will come when your girl will be able to be at the ocean because I'm a water sign. I love the water, you know what I'm saying? I could use some of that beautiful, beautiful, y'all, it's a big, huge butterfly. A monarch just flying over here on my balcony. It is huge. It's got like, it's like this big. Wow. Beautiful. Transformation. Transformation is very key in this time. Transformation. We all going through great transformation. All right. So, rebirthing something new. You know, rebir rebirthing, you know, new ideas. I mean, not rebirthing, we're birthing new ideas. We're birthing new ways of being. You know what I'm saying? We just birthed it. It's like a lot of things are transforming for us. A lot of things are stepping into the divine guidance. You know what I'm saying? And I say this, and I'm going to say this because this pain is up here the only way. Listen, I know a lot of people got what they got. They work hard for where they at. And, and that's all well and dandy. When you put in their energy, you deserve what you, what you got. But if you did a lot of negative things to obtain what you have... Nine times out of ten, even people that got wealth, they, they're not well within their heart and their mind. They're going to have those issues or health issues or, you know. So, it's like the way to manifest. And I say it's beyond monetary gain, right? We're in a time now where we're divinely being guided to get in balance. And if you're not, you can have all the money in the world. If your heart and frequencies are not elevated, what good if you what good is it if you're not here to spend it? Okay? You might have a good paying job, but if you're doing low vibrational stuff with that money, and you're doing low vibrational things, period, you're not going to be able to be able to still withstand this energies on this planet to be able to do your wickedness. Or do these low vibrational things with that money. And then if you obtain that wealth or that job or those finances through low vibrational things, then, you know what I'm saying, that might be an example for you too. You can lose all those things. Okay? It's just a time for us to get in alignment. 
this is time for us to start moving forward and elevating. Because that's the only way we're going to see the reflection of the more people who heal and elevate and change, we'll start seeing that on the outside. And it's showing up. Although things say, seem chaotic right now, like the well and all these disaster catastrophes, it's because of the energies are moving out all of this low vibrational stuff so that the new earth can be, you know what I'm saying, come forth. All right, it's time for divine balance. All right. Let's see what we got going on. Let's see what we got going on. on, on. Mm, beautiful diamonds of light. Let's see what we got going on. Beautiful energy oracle deck. What is in store for the beautiful diamonds of light collective? What is it you divinely, energetically want us to know for the mind, body, soul, and spirit? Yeah, y'all know I always gotta, you know, say something before I get it. You know, I'm following these cards, you know what I'm saying? Because that's when I, that's how I'm got to do it. Okay. I'm just grateful to be here. I'm grateful every time I can get up here every day and give you all these inspirational messages, these downloads, these uploads, these knowings, these experiences that I go through. Hoping that it can give you some clarity. Hoping that it can help you. Hoping that it can awaken some of your DNA code. And just hoping it can just bring you into the direction that, you know, whatever you're meant to go into. Whatever resonates with you, okay? Always, the readings is only for if it resonates. But I try to give messages in the beginning that can benefit people and their well-being. Mine. But some people might not. You know, even that might not resonate with some people because some people might not be ready to heal yet. Or maybe it's other modalities or different routes people have to take energetically. You just got to find out what works for you. What what helps you, body, okay? What helps you? What works for you? So, hold on now, hold up now, hold up. I, I... Do I want to take all this, y'all? I don't think so. That's too much. Okay, come on now. So I want to say that, uh, like I always say, if a lot of them pop out again, then I just come. That means it's meant to be, and I'm gonna take it. All right, so. <laughs> See, it did. I mean, not not as many as the first time, but it's still. You know what I'm saying? So a few, uh, four of them came out. All right. So it's like, yeah, we meant for you to speak a lot on that soul session. So I'm going to take those four. <clears throat> and spirit. All right, spirit. That same card came back out, though. It was in that, um, this one in particular was in that spread just now. I, I know it stood out to me the most. All right, beautiful goddess power. Okay, what is the store for the beautiful diamonds of light collective? Uh, what is it that you energetically intuitive want us to know for the mind, body, soul, and spirit? We thank you for divine clarity and truth. Yep. I wasn't hungry about an hour ago, but I'm going to want something to eat. If I don't eat it, a pass on me. <laughs> Mine. If you don't want to, I don't know, sometimes things come through while I'm unfolding cards. If you want to get straight to the message, just find the, into the reading, just find the reading. Fast forward the video, go to the part that's on where you're watching it from goes to the part there where the reading starts. So spirit. Beautiful star man tear that what is it stuff for the beautiful diamond like the collective? What is it you in energetically intuitively Want us to know for the mind, body, soul, and spirit.
Yeah, my baby girl birthday coming up. <laughs> She's gonna be big time. Our children grow up so fast. I got a grandbaby. I got a 21 year old. I got a 14 year old. And I got my baby here. I don't have any more. When I thought going through so much, I going through so much I went through with having my first two not being able to be in their life, and then getting pregnant with my youngest daughter, not knowing me and her dad was gonna be together this long, but you know what I'm saying still things are liable to change. But regardless, when I had this third one, it's like I decided to get my tools tied because I was like, life has always been challenging for me, right? So. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes I wish I would, and maybe I would have wanted one more or something. But I can always reverse it. It ain't like I can't, you know, reverse the, you know, process and still have kids. But, you know what I'm saying? I just, I'm I'm, I'm kind of good where I'm at. I mean, in our situation, where I'm at now, I don't want to. But if things was divinely meant to be, then, and then divine balance and divine guidance and yeah i probably will have one more maybe two <laughs> i said if i have any more it gotta be 4.5 so i got i got five more years <laughs> if i have any more body <clears throat> but i doubt if i do though so so i'm you know i got a granddaughter you know, my girl, I have all girls, so I know they have children, so. But they grow up so fast. So, they grow up so fast, y'all. In spirit. Magic of the Mixture of Oracle Activation Day. What is the stuff for the beautiful diamonds I like to collect? The intuitive energy we want to know for the mind, body, soul, and spirit. We thank you for the mind, peace, and clarity. Yep. <laughs> A lot of people are like, you, you don't look old enough to... Now I'm going to have to keep popping. You don't look old enough to have um a grandbaby and 21-year-old. Like, I'm going to be 40. I'm before the next month now. I had my first daughter when I was in high school. Well, I was a senior in high school. I actually wobbled across the stage. And I and I had her a month later after I graduated high school. <laughs> Literally a month later. So I had her when I was 18. Mine. And I had my own place at that time. Even when I was carrying her, I was homeless and pregnant for a minute. I've been on my own since I was 17. So, um, yeah, it was, wasn't easy. And that's why, you know, <clears throat> me and her dad were together for two years, but it wasn't together because I was pregnant with him, but he was, he cheated a lot, Lord. I just ain't that gullible, like, and, um, finally get, said forget it, and then I thought I didn't want to work it out anymore. I think he asked me to marry him twice. I said, no, two times. And I thought when we separated, I mean, his family, they had a little bit of money. Um, took me to court, got a lawyer, and got custody of my baby. It didn't make so bad, my, one of my family members, well, two of them was well, in on it, in on causing me to lose custody of my daughter. I'm gonna tell who I was dating, that's the most of y'all people. But either way, it was more, I didn't lose her because of what I was dating, who I was dating. I, I lost her, I got, I didn't get custody because I had, like I said, I was on my own when I was 18, 17, and I um, had her, I had my own place and everything. It's just that I didn't have any family, I didn't have any help. And my own family was against me. And uh, I didn't have any money. You know what I'm saying? Of course, I was getting housing help at 18, 17 years old. So, you know, um, yeah, they had to pay for a lawyer out of pocket. And they gave them custody because they was more financially able to take care of her. Not that I was unfit. 
because they tried to send Department of Social Services, another of his mom tried to send Department of Social Services to my house, and they didn't find, get me for negligence, and they didn't find me negligent, because my daughter had everything she needed, my house to keep clean, my bills on, she had everything she needed, they didn't find me ne negligent, so they closed the case, and so since they couldn't get custody of her that way, they had to pay for a lawyer out there pocket, and you know, money talk bullshit won't, I can't afford no damn lawyer. And, you know, I had to go through all that. That took me down a very dark road, y'all. Like, it really did. And I tell these stories. I try to tell my story a little bit to people so you can know that whatever you may be happy to comprehend or go through in life, you know what I'm saying? Because my life has always been challenging since I was a child. I didn't really have my mother or father. My mom was in and out. But she was on drugs really bad most of my life. And... We were still in our family, but it was toxic. It was toxic, like very toxic. You throw it around here and there. But regardless, no matter what you go through, beautiful diamonds of light, know that, yeah, you it might be rough sometimes. You might feel like you want to give up. You might feel like you want to take your life. I've been there too, right? I overcame a lot of obstacles, and I'm so grateful that I am the woman I am today. And no matter what I, I've been through, I've overcame those things and I still continue to overcome. You know, my life's still not easy today, but I live in gratitude. And I give God, source creator, and my ancestors and God the glory for protecting me. So I've noticed that I've always had a lot of protection along the way because people have been trying to always take me out and do stuff for me. My first baby daddy, mama them hicks me the fuck up on top of my... I found out that my fam some one 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 particular of my family members was doing the same thing. I was trying to steal my energy and my essence and didn't want no good for me. The same family member that called and let them know who I was dating and stuff. Who do that? But you know, all I'm saying is life can be overbearing, but don't let life consume you. Don't let you know relationships and everything like everything that i've been through only made me a better woman you know um i'm not saying it was easy it took hard work to heal as i still continue to heal i still got work that i need to do because there's still some things that soulfully sit within my well-being that i have to work through now i forgive i forgave it and forgiven everybody for all that they have done for me i've forgiven myself for anything that I've done to sabotage myself. And I do the energy work and I divinely just love myself and everybody on a whole level. But it's like sometimes, you know, when you still have to live in the occurrences of those memories, you know what I'm saying? Like they even, my baby daddy never even took me out for child support. How y'all want to take me out for child support when y'all financially got custody of her because I couldn't financially take care of her? Like y'all got, make that make sense. <laughs> But it was more of, you know, wanting to see me behind bars. You know what I'm saying? It was like, y'all, let me tell you something. If y'all only knew what your girl done been through and overcame, you would be like, you know what? I can I can do this. I can do this. I can really, you know, take life lessons, because it's what they were and are, and let all that pressure create a beautiful diamond, enlighten me, help me to elevate, help me to become strong, help me to step into my true self power and my knowing. Because you got to understand the reason why you go through a lot of these things, which I, from what I comprehend and understand over time, is that a lot of people, the chosen ones, you know what I'm saying, the enlightened ones, the angelics and all the higher vibrational beings that choose to come through here and have uh, experiences in these avatars we are targeted since from birth because they energetically know who we are we don't know we don't know that they know who we are when we come here but they do the powers to be the people everything so your planet and certain people lives certain members certain family members that are born demons or whatever they are in your life to help to destroy you or cause chaos it's like all strategically designed <laughs> and it's crazy right you're like wow really but then when i look at everything i was like okay i get it now i get why all of this has happened and think things are like they are and i am who i am now i know why 
now I know who I am. And it's like, I'm grateful for my experiences. I don't, do I wish I had to go through them? No. I wouldn't wish my life on my worst enemy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All the things I ha I've had to go through. But I am grateful that I have overcame these things so I can be an expression, of, an example of true self-love and dedication to all, love for all. And I can help people to know that you can overcome any and all obstacles. I've had to overcome addictions, afflictions, abuse. You name it, I done been through it. You name it, I done been through it. And I'm here today, just as fine and dandy, like the she lotus flower, taking back my power every hour. You know what I'm saying? So that's what we got to do, beautiful dames of light. You know that you can do this. You got this. You got this. And it's only going to get better if you choose to heal and do the energy work and take care of those traumas and those pain. You got to go in and work through those things and release them and let them go. And then call in the light and, and let your higher self, your divine light, guide you. Because you've already came through the darkness. You already know how to withstand the low vibrational pressure because that's what helps you become the beautiful diamond. You can't become the diamond of light if you ain't overcame the pressure, baby. <laughs> Let's get into this reading. All right. For the mind, we have the door to romance in reverse. We also have goddess Lilith, independence in reverse. We have Goddess Gold, the future upright. We have the Nine of Swords in reverse. And we have Exile, illusion of separation, disconnect, and isolation upright. Hmm. So, <clears throat> here is what I'm getting right here with, with this Exile and this Daughter Romance. And this, it's something about, okay, in the near future. In the near future. Any type of romantic love, any relationship that you are in. Um, we got independence in reverse. Right? It's like, yeah, so it's like <sighs> with the future. So that means dependent. So whatever you're going through romantically, whatever whatever relationship that you in. You could be in it or just walk out, just exile. You could have just left this relationship. You got the nine of swords here. You know what I'm saying? And all of that relationship caused you so much conflict, so much stuff, like reoccurring over and over again. But you've completed this cycle to get out of this torture, this trauma, this pain, this abuse. You decided that you're no longer going to live in this energy and... You wanted to disconnect from the situation because it wasn't romantic. It was just, it was overbearing. It's like, you know, your love was locked. Your love was locked in the cage. You was locked in this mindset that these individuals or this individual loved you. When all along, they been had the door open. Like, you was locked. You locked yourself in, Okay. You locked your heart in because whoever this person is, you love. You wanted to love. You wanted them to love you back. But it's like they always had the door open wanting you to leave. And it's like over and over again, you had to perceive this like one disappointment, one hurt after another, after another, after another. You was very codependent on this individual or this individual was codependent on you. But it's like, Source Creator is saying that in the near future, if you hadn't left this situation, you're going to. You're going to disconnect from the situation. Because you, you, you're you like, I'm done. I, I completed this karmic cycle. I'm not longer no want to be in this. You're realizing that this was a karmic relationship. That this is a toxic relationship. And obviously, you're going to realize that you need to do a lot of healing and growing. You need to disconnect yourself from this person. Because you, whoever you are, you was isolated. When I see this isolation here and this, this you locked, got this heart locked in this cave, right? This cave right here. I'm turn, it's in reverse when I'm turning it right. You see how this heart is locked in this cave? 
It's like this person could not, you was, you was locked in the cage and this person did not have the key to your heart. They liked it to see you locked in in isolation, but while you was isolated and locked in, it was just one torment, one confliction after another, one confliction after another. But the disconnect is coming. Transformation is taking place. You see this butterfly here? It's like you transform into this butterfly so you can get up out of this situation. Okay, so you came through this door. You transformed into the butterfly and you flew away. You transformed. You flew out of this situation. You got out of it. You got off and around this, this, these people. Okay? You have a lot of guidance. I'm seeing like some very angelic energy here. It's like you had like certain forces helping you to enlighten yourself. You see all this, um, this butterfly, like even with the transforming of the butterfly, you was illuminated by light. So you illuminated yourself so you could step through this and transform so you can leave and get disconnect from this situation, from this love. Yeah. From that lower vibration. You see this? This red door represents. It was a lot of toxic. Lower vibrational issues. That you was in behind this door. Okay. In this home. This isolation. You were not happy. But you let go of these conflictions. So. It's time to go. You're about to go, or you already left this. You see, the some of you have already left this situation, or some of you are about to. Is what I'm getting. As you, the more you transform, the more you heal and glow and in alignment. And I'm getting that it's energies that is here helping you shift into that. Make these, make these necessary moves. Make these necessary changes. Okay, let's go over here to the body. We have blossom and abundance. See, because that's what you're going into. You have to leave this situation that was toxic, low vibrational, so you can get this right here. So we got Blossom and Abundance upright. We got Goddess Sophia, Divine Wisdom in reverse. We got the Sun card here upright with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. And we got the Heart Porter, Receptivity, Generosity, and Mistrusting. Okay. Okay. Help me with this one. So, you is you are illuminated. You are in this bright essence of yourself. You know what I'm saying? You are in the bright essence of yourself, and you and you looking within. You like you want to. You you you're leaving because you know there is more out there for you. You don't want to be stuck in this energy, like. It's like when you was um in this situation or the situation you're in now that you're about to leave or the situation you were in that you walked away from, you could not create, you could not build, you was you was it was like, you know, you can you felt like you couldn't rebirth yourself. You you felt like you couldn't uh transform. It's like you were stuck. You couldn't feel like figure out ways to, you know, build wealth. You couldn't figure out ways to you know, get ahead. It's like whoever you were with, all that low vibrational toxic toxicity going on in that relationship that wasn't romantic was causing you not to be able to receive your abundance that Source Creator had for you. You had to illuminate yourself so you can leave that situation or you illuminate yourself so you can leave that situation so you can gain your uh, abundance. Because you was, you was operating... Um, you wasn't using your divine wisdom at one point in time. You wasn't. You wasn't. But you had to start doing your heart chakra work. You had to start loving yourself to be able to perceive things for what they truly were. You know what I'm saying? You had to really start loving yourself to perceive things. Or you have to start loving yourself to perceive things for what they truly are. So you can move forward. But obviously, you do illuminate yourself. You do enlighten yourself. You do shine bright. You do become this um, higher essence of yourself with the sun card here. You 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 blew up. You 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 went in and 
like I say, you, you chose to illuminate. You chose to transform into this light being, into this higher source. So you can go into your blossom abundance. You're like, I'm not no longer not. I am very divine and wise. I'm not no longer not going to use this essence of myself and stay trapped behind these doors and stuck in this situation that is not getting me anywhere. Because I know I deserve so much better. You knew it, so you walked away or you're going to walk away. Okay? Let's go over here into the soul column. Okay, we have the woman holding her heart. Okay. Action. Yeah, you're going to leave. Or you took the action to leave. Or you, this is more for a person that's in this situation that's going to get out of the situation. You've been stuck long enough. You've been in this 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 love that wasn't romantic. There's no romance there. There's no support there. That's why with the aid of Pentacles in reverse, it's like you're very creative and you and you've been building all of this stuff while you've been isolated, but you hadn't had the support. You hadn't been able to make things happen, and you feel like the reason why things were stagnated or source creator. Ancestors and God's spirits tell me the reason why things were st stagnated is because you was in this relationship. And this relationship was holding you back. But in the future, you, you're going to take action. You're going to take action. You got, okay, let's get into this. You got the action card upright. Um, the woman holding her heart upright. You got the third chakra, Archangel Samuel in reverse. And you got happy family here. You got reverence upright. You got the Prince of Cups in reverse. Adventure challenges adventure here you got innocent play discovery you got challenges here blocks fears and negativity betrayal and then you got destiny divine purpose passion service see yes it's your divine purpose whatever you've been working on and building whatever you've been working on and building if you look at it all right you see how he's been building things and creating and you know collecting whatever Whatever you've been working on and building while you've been isolated all this time, right? It's, it's destined. It's, it's, it's your divine purpose to walk away, take action so, to, to remove yourself from the situation, right? Um, the woman holding her heart here. It's like you you wanna you just you want a happy family. You wanna be happy. You 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 are holding your heart because you're enlightened by things and you're loving yourself more. You see how she's got a heart in here. She seems like she just loving herself. She loves her family. She wants what's best for her and her family. So because you want what's best for you and your family, it's like you're you're gonna take the actions to to leave the situation. But the third chakra here, Archangel Shamian in verse. It's like, you know, you having to take action to have that drive to go within your soul self to make this move. It's like you having a hard time making this decision. Like you don't know. You don't know if you want to. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, here with the Prince of Cups here, whoever this lover is, whoever this person is that you've been in, this, it's in reverse. So like I said, it's another expression that this person that you love doesn't love you the same or you, and you know what I'm saying the relationship is not healthy it was with the reverence card there wasn't any kind of reverence there wasn't any kind of support within your creative endeavors that's why the uh, archangel Samuel is in the um reverse there wasn't kind of soul guidance from this person it was like a lot of challenges a lot of blocks and fears and betrayal that came from this prince of cup energies okay it's a lot of betrayal you know what I'm saying? They couldn't help you. Y'all couldn't see eye to eye is what I'm getting. And it's like, you know, maybe... <sighs> Let me see what I see in this betrayal card. Because, you know, I like to look at my cards when I get a little stuck. Yeah, it's like, right here, you see here? With, here go this woman here. She's bright. She illuminated. She's full of color. But you got this ice cold man here. You know what I'm saying? He was cold-hearted. He was ice cold. He was emotionless. He just didn't give a damn about your bright, your light. It's like he could. He, he was froze, and he wanted to freeze you. He wanted to keep you you stuck. But you see how you you see how she has this this um weapon here, and she was like, this 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 is illuminated with light. She was like, no, nah, I'm not going to let you stop me. I'm not going to let you hold me back. I'm not going to let you freeze me. 
You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get through these these blocks, this betrayers, this negativity. This, I'm going to face this thing. I'm going to face this, this, this cold-hearted person. You know what I'm saying? So you you decided to um break. You see how she took that? I like to use my visuals so people can see things. You see how she took that staff of hers and she broke through that ice? She broke through it. She was like, I'm no longer going to be stuck back here. I'm, you're not going to trap me. I'm going to break through. So she broke She broke through. Maybe she's trying to get him out too. She's like, as I walk on my journey, yeah. Okay, it's like this person was so cold-hearted. See, this is what's supposed to get me. This person is so cold-hearted. They're so froze. They're emotionless. They, you know what I'm saying? That you're try you've been trying to help them set their self free. It's like, you've been trying to help this person see who they are too. You've been trying to help them with their blocks and fears. You have, because you want a happy family. Obviously y'all have a family. So you and this person have children. Okay. You and this person have children, whoever this for y'all already have a family. Y'all have a family, but it's like, he's stuck. And because he's stuck, you see, here too. You know what I'm saying? Because he's stuck and he got a, more blocks and stuff, it's like he couldn't give you the love that you needed. But because you started loving yourself, you know what I'm saying? You started reaching into your passion. And it's like now you want to go discover things. And Source Creator and your ancestors and guys are opening up opportunities so you can because it's destined. It's destined for you to have this blossom in abundance. It's destined, destined is for you to be this beautiful, sh shining, illuminated, illumin illuminated per person. It's destined. You know what I'm saying? And that person gonna have to get out of those blocks themselves. But it's like you, you tried, but it's like right here with the third. No matter what you did, it just wasn't enough. Okay. All right, so, yeah, it's just, you have to take the action to move on, most likely. It's like, yeah, I understand when you got family, it's, like, hard for you to, like, what do you do, right? You're like, you want to make it work. You want to make it work so much. I get it, whoever this is for, but, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes when it's that much cold-heartedness and damage and stuff done, when you get to a point where you love yourself enough, you're too illuminated to stay in something that's low vibrational, that's keeping you trapped. And a source creator not going to allow it anymore anyway. This is what I'm getting. So you're about to go on this adventure. You're about to go find your... You're going to go into your divine purpose, your destiny, because it's destined for you, okay? Let's go over here to the spirit. And on top of this, yeah, okay. Over here in the spirit, the, the door to spirit. is here. we got the door to spirit in reverse. We have the angel of strength in reverse. We have goddess, um, our Ar focus in reverse. We got the goddess Mary, miracles upright. We got the princess. Hold up, I didn't get any. Wait a minute, y'all. Let me, I gotta get some. Let me get some, okay. For this, I didn't get no card for the spirit for that. Thank you, spirit. Oh, see? Woo! Can't make this shit up. Okay, so okay, so you got the angel of strength in reverse and the door of spirit in reverse. You got goddess Armentis focus in reverse, but you got the goddess Mary upright miracles here. You got the princess of swords upright here, and you got utopia upright. All right, let me tell you something. This this relationship that you're in with this princess of swords here, you're gonna have to you. You're fighting deep within. You're fighting deep within. It's been hard, like with the angel of strength here in reverse. It's like you, you don't have you. You feel like you don't have the strength. You you feel like you don't have the strength to move on. You feel like you know. You're afraid with the daughter spirit in reverse. You 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 you're afraid to take this opportunity. You're afraid to take this leap of faith. You're afraid to leave. You're afraid to go. You are afraid to go out there for your destiny. You're afraid. You're afraid to do it. You know what I'm saying? You got the focus here in reverse. It's like you don't... It's hard for you to focus right now because you're going through this. You're warring. It's like you're, you know... You could be going through it with this person that you're in a relationship with that you want to leave. You know what I'm saying? And like I say, it's like 
here, you see how it does? She got two paths here. It's like you're fighting. You're fighting with what path you want to take. But you have to take that path. You're going to have to gain the strength because miracles are in store for you. The door to spirit is telling they have the strength because they are there for you. Your the spiritual realm is there for you. They're saying get focused on this. Get focused on your true destiny. Get focused on your divine purpose because a utopia is waiting for you. You no longer have to be in this low vibrational situation if you just take the notion to know that if you step out on faith, you step out on your, you know, I don't even like to say faith. If you just know within yourself innately who you are and all the work that you have done, whoever this for, that if you just go ahead and take that leap, if you just go ahead and say, forget it, I'm trusting in source creator, I'm trusting in my divine guidance, I know I can do this, that miracles are waiting on you and your utopia is there for you. Like you're going to walk into your utopia. It's going to happen. Okay. Blossom and abundance. You got so many great things here. Yes, it's heartfelt. It seems difficult. But you got the blossom abundance here. You got utopia here. You got miracles here, baby. There's nothing to be afraid of when you got these beautiful things. So much coming. I'm getting, I'm, what's coming to me is divine counterpart. So you got true love waiting on you as well. Everything that you feel like you have lost or everything that you, every way that you feel like you've been trapped is there for you. It's, it's everything that you feel like you'll lose or you feel like you don't want to go through this pain anymore, this suffering. Know that when you take the actions to do the necessary things that you need to from your heart guidance, your divine guidance, that abundance is there you're not gonna have to struggle financially so many miracles are gonna come your way and your utopia ooh, is waiting on you you meant to do this it's 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 don't be afraid is what i'm getting let's go up into this um inspiration you got gracious receptivity the violet flame and balanced forces. Things are being balanced out. Because you have been so gracious. And you have been just in gratitude to violence. You know what I'm saying? You've just been thankful. You, you've been so, so. You've been doing a lot of your energy work. You've been flourishing. You've been changing. You've turned into this violet flame here. Because you balance is being brought like whatever you've been suffering like overcoming your obstacles because you overcame so much one thing after another one situation after another you kept you kept being so strong like i know at times you don't feel like you're strong but you are you are you've came this far Look how look how much source creator God has you know spared you. Look where you at today. Just think about where you came from, what you've overcame, and where you're at now. And be like, if He's took you through a lot of things, you're the type of person. If I'm talking to you and this resonates with you, and you've overcame so much, and you've been still doing the work, like I told my story in the beginning, right? Know that those these things are for you. If if you have been kept through all of that, you gotta know that it's and you you are even better person than you used to be, even in the mix of the storms. You're not even that person that you used to be. You have grown, you have became this, illuminated, you are the sun. All right. That these miracles and this abundance and all this stuff is for you, your utopia. I just, I speak well to you, whoever this is for, whoever this work resonate with. And I, you know, I just manifest that everything that your heart desires. Because you manifest in your higher self that you will manifest everything that your heart desires in your life. It's going to all work out. Just hang in there. 
So it's just saying, be patient. Your ancestors and God saying they got you. Okay? Until next time, beautiful dams and light. Bye now.